hello. Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, aka just Spyro 3, because that's kind of like what I've been naming these episodes now. Uh, well, Spyro's facing us, and he's also looking back, because he's like, I know there's something back there, and we're going back there right now. Before we do, I noticed there's this red gem right here, and then there's this thing. Don't know how we're going to break this. Just can't do that. But, last time we have everything done up to this point, we did the ice level. And that's kind of what got us to doing episodes like this for now. Because the levels are kind of longer, considering I don't really know too much of this game. Just enough Spyro to play it. So, I mean, we are missing some gems from previous levels, but that's okay. This episode, it is time to save our second friend. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. Man, you son of a bitch putting a price on someone's life, especially a bird slash penguin. Even though he's, his name is Sergeant Bird, 700 gems, jeez. We're gonna be below 2,000 now. Fuck. Well, we need him, so, of course. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Et. Et. I like how they <laughs> spelled etc. Anyways, we're not a sucker, you're just a bitch. So here we go, Bird, James Bird. James Bond reference, of course. Another cutscene. Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. Yeah, fuck his ass. Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! And there he goes to his own homeworld, which we're gonna go in. Now that it's saving, by the way, I had to go back and get the two eggs at the end of the episode before we started this one. Hush! <laughs> because we didn't save it, technically. The one in the ice cave and the thief out here. So Sergeant Bird's base. We're gonna go in, we're gonna do this for this episode, and then we're going now then after this we're gonna backtrack to uh, the first level we did in this world, and hopefully 100% it, considering we have this guy now. I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceress. All right, let's do it. Let's get them ready. All right, so we gotta, I guess, save these guys. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir, but without your leadership, we didn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. And that is 6.45 p.m. to 7 p.m. for you guys that don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, without text, honestly, I can't really hear the game too much. So because I don't have the TV too loud, because I don't want it really picked up on the mic too much. You know how that is. All right, so square doesn't do anything. X, holding it, makes us go up. I guess we can tap it too. Uh, and circle is our rockets. So that's how we want to open these things. Can't get past these glasses, but that's fine. So yeah, 
it makes things a lot easier and better to like split up the episodes the way I am right now. That is for sure. Because the video is definitely long enough at, as it is. I'm already at like 40 eggs. Alright, so we saved one right there. This level's alright, but yeah. It's one of these things. Thank you, sir. Three, four other hummingbird soldiers. You're welcome. I don't even think I'm gonna really cut any of that out. <laughs> For you to hear, I mean, he just says thank you, sir. Alright, so we're just gonna have to fly up, I guess. Is there any way out of here? We're already stuck. Can we break this? Nope. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time. Oh, I should after we figure this out. I think we just go all the way up here. There it is. There's some place. Recommend you take the enemy out with your rockets by pressing the circle button, sir. All right, ma'am. I didn't realize that from uh, saving the first hummingbird. Thank you for learning. So yeah, our second partner, that's that's one thing I do like about this game, is that they've added in partners, some extra buddies. Oh, we can't even break this with our rockets? Well, that's some shit. Get out of here. There's also some other backtracking we can do, too, with Sergeant Bird in the first world. So I don't know, we might just do this level, actually, before we even do any kind of backtracking. I don't know. We shall see. Take that hummingbird. I don't know why they're there. Like, I can't even really... I guess he's just following me. Alright. So, I've captured the enemy Russians. They won't march far on an empty stomach. We beat the level, I guess. Siegfried. Or Siegfried. He looks fried. Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. Recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches either side of the door. When in position, press the square button to drop the weight. Press the triangle button once to look down. Press it again to look up, sir. Alright, so this is the part <laughs> that I don't like. So, okay, how much of that do you skip? Because Okay, we were just like right here. It just cut straight forward to this. So we're halfway through this. I think I want to take these guys out first so they won't be in my way. And it drops all the way down here. Oh, onto another guy. Cool. Get back here, you bitch. You can't be flying. And using melee. Nah. You gotta shoot something at me if you're flying. Ooh, what a shot. I'm guessing it homes in a little bit. There's another hummingbird. Yeah, get out of there. You ain't gonna be captured. Alright. So we got the main hummingbird, I guess, like, just following us. For, for, the, for the episode. For the level. Request permission to cheer, sir. Hippie pourri! Did I give you permission from saving you to do that? Alright, so square... At least does this. We can carry things with uh, Sergeant Bird. Oh, I might want to also hit X too. So yeah, I hit triangle once. We can look down. Hit triangle again. It just comes back. So triangle does do something. Do you guys give me... Are you guys fodder or are you guys like... Kinda get gems off of you. Freaking moles, bro. 
also... Yes, I can shoot. That's gonna be like some kind of claw controls right there. There we go, okay. Has the circle layout. Alright, these guys. These guys are something. I don't know about these guys. They keep coming out. But I can't like really hit them. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was like two Zoe's. That's what I thought he was. Give me that ladybug. Give me a ladybug. I can't hit you though. I hit him. <laughs> I was gonna say I have some pretty good shots. I'm gonna have to backtrack eventually anyways, because what I found out. The reason why we can't do the Sparks levels yet is because you have to beat the boss first and then you can go back and do it. So that's that stuff we could have been doing. We're, we're going to save it. We might just go ahead and beat every boss first and then do them all in one video. I don't know about that, actually. So I don't want to be like we're doing the same thing on one thing. Maybe this wasn't what I was thinking of. I think it's the backtrack. That level could be kind of a pain. And I think I remember last time I kind of got stuck here trying to find everything, but it is manageable. Keep fighting the good fight, sir. We're almost there, and I'm uh, right behind you. He literally is. There's a missile, though. I have four of these. Okay, I think life makes sense now. See, now that's why... I hit him. It didn't give me a gem. Is it like a top secret thing to do? I'm not gonna do this yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if that actually becomes like a challenge or anything. But we can still shoot. I don't even have to hold square actually. So that's actually good. I thought I had to like claw the controller. <laughs> so we get full health, even though it's only one hit. Plus an extra life. Definitely useful. And it does seem like the rocket's home if you're in a certain direction. And there's there's the beginning right there with the glass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what? I hit triangle. Probably must have thought I hit square too. Take it! There's the green gem that dropped from the guy above. I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure that's it. Or it could be that one. We'll never really know. Alright, is this how we can break these things, please? Oh my god, we made it to the end. It's great to have you back, sir. Like, I kind of talked through that, so it doesn't matter. I mean, you can just see the text. It wasn't too much. But we, we unlocked Ryan Lee, and we made it to the end of the level. I'm not done yet. Our 50th egg saved. I don't even know how we got here. Like, it just keeps warping me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then it exploded. We still have to save the rest of the hummingbirds that got captured. Like, I was literally right here. I mean, I know we cleaned house, and I guess that's how we made it over there. But, come on. We're not done. We got two more to go. 
Just because he flew there doesn't mean I was ready to fly there. Alright, so we'll get another one of these. He just grabs these automatically. I don't even hit square. I just hit square to let go. He drops it. Reporting for duty, sir. Reporting for duty. Definitely gotta get you in tip top shape. There, is there anything up there? I was gonna say we gotta get them in tip top shape if they're gonna get captured like that. I really don't know what's going on with these guys. <laughs> We're just cleaning house with them. So yeah, that is how we're going to destroy the rest of these things. The unbreakable has become broken. And we went through there. That's how we got the one up in that little alcove. Here, we want to take both of these guys out. Come on. I was going to say at the same time, but... I was going to say, yeah, the little guy wasn't coming out because someone was already there. There he goes. I don't know what the importance of doing that is, but... We're doing it. <laughs> I guess they're the enemy. Sergeant Bird is kind of slow in flying, though. I will say that. But it's still cool to have different characters to play as besides Spyro. And I guess that kind of goes along with the rumors of, like, why they couldn't really make any more Spyro games. Because they were, like, running out of ideas of how to really utilize Spyro in levels. It seemed like they did it all with just these past two games. That's kind of why Spyro 2 is considered the best. I mean, I like it a lot. It's definitely my, one of my favorites. But, I mean, this this game's definitely special, too. Ouch. <laughs> Hit me with a plunger gun. Really? Is that what we're going to now? Give me that. I might as well go back and hit the other ones, but we'll just keep going forward for now. I don't know how much is left, all things considering. Oh, here we go. Don't get it. Oh, are we okay? I'll take it. We got one more to go. And that's it. There's like nothing else here. Alright, we've seen the last one through the through the glass. Might as well drop them. What are your orders, sir? My orders is for you to stay put while I do all the work. Oh no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That we keep going through that one. Okay, I thought there was like another way. Only one way street here. Okay. I need you. Yeah, come to me. So now, how do we get in there? That is the question. And that's as high as I can fly, by the way. Alright, let's go in here. Grab this. Eh. Ah, oh, I didn't hit them.
Kiddish Sparks. Because I, I definitely do want to do uh, Sparks levels as soon as I can. Because once you beat them, e like each one gives you like a new Sparks power up that can help us throughout the game. So I definitely do want to take advantage of that. Alright. Now it's figure out time. And the main reason I can't really practice these games... I mean, I guess I could copy. But... Technically, I would have to play... Both profiles. I don't know if I could copy the account. Pretty sure you can. But it auto-saves, so I don't want to... <laughs> have sort of like a Rayman mess for the finale. You guys will see soon. On what happened. Alright, so we missed a few things, anyways. I have to go back, anyways, for these moles, I guess. I mean, whoosh. We'll see what happens. Okay, I thought that was a red gem. That's a ladybug. That's a ladybug. So we're already 20 minutes in. Another reason why. Alright. Another reason why we're cutting these. That has a good radius, too. I like that. I really don't know why I'm doing this to these moles. Ugh. Do I get a secret ending? Ugh. Skill point! That's what it is. Alright. That makes more sense. I have to look up the rest of the skill points. Oh no. I had like one missile left for that mole. If I didn't use it on the ladybugs. And hey look. More stuff. We had. There you are. Hopefully I got the other ones. That I knocked. Alright. So now I just need more missiles. Missiles. I gotta go all the way back just for that. What was that? That's what I need. Alright, I got four. Four is max. Maximum power. We got this. Nothing but D-pad, baby. Just how do we get in that one room? Don't want to be hitting the floor with this. It kind of slows us down like this. Nice, gentle taps. I don't see anything else in this room. Let me in. I see back there, sort of like a cave, just like this that we went through, but I, I know for sure I didn't see anything else. I'll check it again, but I want to check everything here first. But it seems like we've done everything. And these, these levels aren't like we need to backtrack because we got everything in this level as in the bird the penguin there's nothing else we need later on in the game to backtrack here so <laughs> I'm definitely stumped I'm definitely stumped alright guys so I kinda had the right idea um, one problem with that I mean like, this, this definitely looks Breakable. Right? I mean it does, but like really? That's that's what that's what that is? When I already came here before and broke the fucking chest. Like that's that's great. I had to look it up, I'm sorry. 
Because we're making progress. Damn it. That's how you get in here. That's how you get the rest of the gems. Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. And it's like they knew. We got Roy, but it's like they knew you had to backtrack. Because the missiles were at the last part. Maybe last bird, no matter what, does that. Gives us the egg. But here we are. That should be everything. Yes, thank you. That is how you get in this room. Level complete. So we are for sure going to backtrack. I'm mean, going to make it somewhat of a long video. I think with editing, we should be down at least 25 minutes. But yeah, I mean, that does seem a little bit more obvious. I did try to break stuff. I know we could just exit. We can also put the map up just like in Spyro 2, but I haven't really been doing that. And of course, the video that I get is from the Reignited Trilogy. Not the OG. Awaiting order, sir. So yeah, we had to find the last one so the hummingbirds could strike the sorceress. And now that we saved them all, we can do that. We're gaining a whole army now. A whole army. Push. So there we are, finally. We got two friends now. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back this way. And do that, because that's great. That's the only downside of... Um, having the hover, or the, the bash. It's like, try to hover, and then you do that, and you just walk your death sometimes. So these are the guys we have so far. With guys from the five worlds, we can work the worldly geek. Yep, and then we can get to the next boss and the next world. But before we do that, just like how we did with this, we'll go to Sunrise Spring. We can even fight the boss again if we want. But we don't want that. <laughs> We're we'll gonna go back here since we unlocked Sergeant Bird and we can 100% one of the other levels. Here we are. Which level is that? What are we missing? Let's check the Atlas one more time. With 51 eggs. So we're just missing gems there. We're not going to backtrack to that yet. It's Molten Crater. Everything else is 100% done. So we're going to have to do extra backtracking. Maybe we can get it done this episode. right here because the rest that we are missing is if you remembered from having sergeant bird and look at that yeah yeah we've already helped you this gate already opens and there's some gems there we missed what do you know? So we're at the end of the level. Because we've already done this level. So yeah, now that we have Sergeant Bird, we can do this part now. Hello, Spyro. I'm just off to the Tiki lot for some R and R. Some R and R. You need it after that last level. And I told you that was like there there was definitely parts there that stumped me and got me off. But this is what I was mainly thinking about. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member. All right, cool. So yeah, that uh, ability. Let's go ahead and find their fucking heads. They're decapitated. Do they give me gems? I don't think so. I think they're just there. But hopefully the rest of the gems are here. If we're missing any more, I'll try to find them. There we are. 
Get off of him. Oh, they just respawn. Alright. So no point in doing that right now. We at least will do this much of the backtracking right now since we've already gotten the bird. I want to put some more stuff into this episode. And I think it automatically drops once you hover over it. There we go. That's another. I don't think they talk to us, do they? Yeah. That's fine. Hopefully this goes a lot more smoother. <laughs> I don't think it's really much... I mean, I don't know. Spyro 3 has definitely done a lot of things to try to stomp you. A lot more so than Spyro 2. At least in my opinion. So I like that. That's what I like about this game. There's so much variety. Like, a little bit too much, honestly. In this game. But it's a lot to do. Also, if you get hit, you drop the fucking thing. At least you don't have to go all the way back. That's kind of like what I was worried about. So it doesn't matter which one we put them on. As long as we put them on. Is that Johnny's body? Or is that Jimmy's head? I don't like going all over the place right now. But rest assured, I'll try to... Not even try, I, I will get everything. One... Eh. Johnny. But I know one of Spark's abilities... Like, you already have it. Like, we have all of the Spyro's abilities, but we, won't, we don't have all the Sparks. Because he actually points in the direction where gems are, in case you're missing any. But you have to unlock that through the Sparks levels. And again, we can't really do them until we do the bosses for each world. So since we beat the first boss in this world, in the first world. Um, there we go! We got all the gems. Nice, we did everything. Don't hit me. Because I think if it hits the lava, then we have to go back. But... Here's the last one. Since the first boss and the first world is done, we can do the first world sparks level. Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership in the lodge. You know what, since we backtracked here to get Ryan, we might as well go ahead and do the sparks level too. Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. <laughs> Just an egg appearing out of nowhere. So yeah, there we go. We've went back here and helped out with the Tiki's or the Tiki Lodge with Sergeant Bird. Now we can go ahead and get back out now that we have the rest of the gems. Good thing the gate opens for us. I kind of want to go back to the first level. Since we're missing gems there. I don't know why we are. We got Sheila the Kangaroo and we backtracked. And got all her stuff, hopefully. I'm just gonna cut. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna show all the uh, the gems that we're missing from this level. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. Instead of putting all in one video, I guess. We'll slowly make progress, so BRB. We're missing an egg from Molten Crater. Damn. I know we looked everywhere, dude. So I'm having a good feeling. It's probably in the kangaroo stage in here. All right. Did we miss this? Alright guys, I, I found some. It was definitely in this stage. Because I saw that guy from the tower. I think, well, 
that definitely some of them. I think the rest is down here. Oh, look at this. Clever. That should be the rest of them. That is what we were missing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because we've looked everywhere in the actual world. I and we definitely did the skateboard part. Like, thoroughly. Like, there was definitely not much else to the stage. But when I was up there on the tower, right up there, I saw this guy. I was like, wait a second. So yeah, that's definitely a, a tricksy place to hide that. Another reason why I thought there was stuff over there. I now wish we'd done this already, but it's not really that hard. But I've seen stuff like right there from the beginning of this part, so I think we just exit and we keep our gems, right? Oh, that exits that. All right, and then exit level. There we go. That's the 25 we were missing. Now we know. I'm glad we got that over with, and now I have to go back and get the last egg for Molten Crater, because apparently I forgot that. So, I probably already put it in just to go ahead and have it in, but just let you know, that's what I have to do then. And I'll see you in the Sparks level, because we're going to be doing that too. Sergeant Bird blows up a wall. That is what we're doing. At least we know. So we've done this whole level. We just forgot something back here, guys. So yeah. Let's get that out of the way. So Sergeant Bird blows up a wall. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Yep. Alright, here's the egg we missed. That's <laughs> just Luna. That's anal back. Anal. <laughs> like Lana. There we go. We got all the eggies. Eggy boys. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright, guys. Now that we have the boss beak, we can actually do this level now. I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Yes, we are ready. Crawdad farms bonus level with only Sparks. Sparks is even a playable character. Hell yeah. That's why this game is just so loved. But we're definitely doing this. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. Alright, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Because it's a top-down shooter, essentially. It's kind of not cool, though, because I'm not using an analog stick. Alright. So that opened, because we did all that. You can also move quickly by charging, like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Nice, we can charge just like Spyro. But you can't do it at the same time. Hold on, do we? Can we just... Oh, we just hit him. Alright. Thought I also had to shoot him. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. 
Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. Alright, so I crash Bandicoot. Sliding? Oh, oh, okay, so we hold it down, right? Instead of like moving like this. We can do that. Nice. We're missing most of them. And yeah, the doors won't open until you actually do it. It's a little bit more of a tutorial stage to begin with Sparks. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the Dragon Worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Top right of the screen is the power. Oh, I didn't eat it yet. Hold on, guys. There we go. Okay. Nice. Let me use it with X. Gotcha. And we also get health this way. Nice, you can just hold it too. That helps. She didn't really tell me that part. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the help option from the pause menu. Alright, Zoe. And that's just, <laughs> that's not even the actual stage. That was literally the tutorial. Yeah, holding it down, yeah, that's the best way to do it. I was just, like, tapping it. Can I just... Okay, no, we can't really do that. I thought I could just charge these guys. Only a few of them. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Health. Oh, power up. Oh, they even have spawners. This kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Kind of. They, they got the key and everything. Need that health. Need that power up. What's this one? Am I invincible? No, it's rockets. Oh boy. Where are you spawning at? I'll take that out. So we can open that door. We have the red key. And it's cool that you're literally sparks, and you do have to eat the butterflies for health. I don't really want to destroy these. Oh my god. <laughs> these guys yet, but... I got hit. This is... Fucked. There we go. Holy crow. I definitely like this ability more, but the, the missiles help a lot when it comes... No! I got hit. At least we got all the gems so far. Okay, cool. We got we got a checkpoint. And then they play this basic-ass music, too. But yeah, the missiles... Oh, no. Google, what are you doing? Like, I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to the audience. Jeez. Gave me a fucking mini heart attack. Alright, I see it. But yeah, as I was saying, the missiles are pretty good for the spawners. I don't think... Yeah, I think that just stays there, so... Also, again, my fucking square... Sticks. I think we can just outrun this guy. That works too. Am I invincible? Oh hell yeah, let's go. So yeah, we got the yellow key. So we don't add a Get rid of 
that macho guy. We gotta also make sure we're collecting all the gems. Got the blue key. I think that's what... Hold on. I think this button is what's causing... Yeah, there we go. Worst feeling. Nice. Just wish my square wouldn't stick so much. And now you guys are toast. What do you want to do now? I'll take I'll take the missiles. Now the blue key. Blue key. Take them out with our arsenals. Oh boy. Hit him. Nice. Nice. Blow it up. And this be the boss? We're not even using the sliding technique. Kush. We might have to on this part. Took his claws off. Oh, now they're missiles. At least we can shoot the missiles. If only we had that power up now. We're invincible. You're dead, son. I took I took hit. I took a hit, but that's fine. We saved Nora, the explorer. The white version. Gosh. That's this last gem. Is there one more gem over here? Is it all 200, baby? We got it done. That was our first Sparks level. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that interesting? We're doing a lot on this episode. That's for sure. But we do have one last backtrack to do. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. So yeah, so now we can pick up gems that are further away. So his range is up there. I think now, for sure, Sunrise Spring Worlds is completely done. One hundo, all the eggs, all the gems. So now we just gotta go back to our world get the rest of the gems and the last egg and enchanted towers since we had a char uh, sergeant and bird that's how we're going to collect all the bones we did a lot with Spyro but we do need our bird friend to help us so let's go do that now that way we can get back to the second world of the midday gardens and then I guess throw it at the very end, we'll find the rest of the gems in the icy world level. Since we're done with the backtracking there, now we're going to do the backtracking here. So let's do it. Let's finish this. What an episode. Every time, I either think the fodder or other parts of the map, other things of the map, I should say, or gems with the knife. Hey bro, I hit you while well, I hit your hammer. That's the end of the level, I do believe. And yeah, we have to get over there. That's for shizzles. Makes things a lot easier. Trying to get to our bird friend. So that, that, that was the missing piece we needed to 100% this level. 
So, so I forgot you can do that. I'm ready to control the towers and the perimeter of the island whenever you want me. Yes, sir. It's good to be back in action. Oh yeah, bird. That's why we saved you at the beginning of this episode. So you can actually play as him throughout this whole level. And that's how we're gonna get all of these bad boys for the last egg. Getting all the backtracks done. You know, we don't even have to talk to you. But yeah, we gotta save our good old bone friend again. Just like in Spyro 2. These motherfuckers. They just, they just like doing that. But yeah, that's how we're going to get everything else. <laughs> that's how we're going to get to this guy. Well, actually, I think we got him last time, but... Again, it makes all this easier and actually doable. So I think that's really cool and pretty fun. This is the first instance to use an actual... ...pal to do the level, like the actual level, not like their own sub-level. Like with Sheila. Alright, yeah, the gems definitely come at me. Automatically. Alright, so we already had him before. We definitely got, like, these that were ground-based already. really just cleaning everything else up that we're missing. I didn't even grab the bone. Hold on. Okay, that's... Okay. I already got four. Got me concerned if I missed the other one. If that hits... Oh. You better not hit me to the point where I take... I, I was going to say fall damage, but more like if I fall into the pit and just die. That would suck. So yeah, we definitely got most of these with Spyro. I know for sure we got those down here. Because that was a mess, trying to shoot them with a green molten ball. At this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these guys so they don't hit me. Get them! Get the sheep too. And this closes up, because obviously you can't go in here. Sergeant Bird, you just have to go back through there if you want to switch back to Spyro. So technically, if you really wanted to do things, you kind of want to do the ice level first, or try to make sure you get Sergeant Bird first before even doing this level, if you don't want to backtrack. But that's fine. We're trying to just do everything in order. Somewhat a plan maybe next time when we actually do this whole game again because we do have to do the remaster but that's going to be a while so i definitely don't want to do it immediately after beating this game unless i really want to but definitely want to take a break after that all right so now i know for sure there's no way i got you you're way up here how much are you worth if I did, okay, yeah, I think they're all just two, two values of gems. Is there anything up here? No. Cool. <laughs> so much for being a tower. Hey, there was stuff in here. Yeah, there's no way we could have done that with Spyro. Maybe. I don't know. Find a high enough spot to fly and glide there. I'm going to be a little upset if we did miss some gems elsewhere, but this seems like a lot. Definitely want to make sure all these guys are gone. 
Yeah, see, we didn't get him yet. Come on, how can you miss? It's close enough. Yep. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we got that one. Let's check over here now. Oh, I couldn't see. Oh, waddle, 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 waddle. Sergeant Waddle. That's his nickname. But I do have to check, though. I know we're missing two bones, but how many, how many, uh... 84. So we're missing 16. So I'm guessing maybe one more enemy carrying a green gem. Where the rest of the bones at? We got two more. I feel like there's some areas. We've been to before with Spyro. That we haven't been to yet. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's one. One more. And at least we have the egg. Then we had to just crack down on where the hell is the rest of the gems. Because I see now, it's like... Sure, I'll get stumped, but maybe I should just keep going. And just check exactly. Alright, I thought they pulled this trick on me. So now I could fly under the bridge. But, instead of just waiting to eventually backtrack, we're probably going to have to just... Maybe the next video. I don't know. At least for now on. Like, I'll just edit it out. And I'll just see what I can do to find him. Because I know you don't want to be watching too much of all this. This last boy in here. I don't think so. This is the other area. Yeah. And the fact that there's like two areas. Like, we can skateboard. And then there's that one that we did. You know, definitely making the level a lot longer. Which I don't mind. Alright. So... I wonder if we went everywhere already. And I just forgot to pick up a bone. We're just missing a bone. I mean, obviously we are, but you know. We've already been there yet. This is the beginning of the level right here. Let's just go through it. See if we can find him that way. Maybe for some reason we're missing a gym too. Based off of these guys. Nothing up there. I already checked up here. So that's where that one guy was. Very certain. Can't be too too certain. Cause at this point, yeah, we're missing a bone, but the gems I don't know where they be. We probably got them all now here in this area. Nice little lava pit there for you, for you fans. Because like after. You know, Sheila, well. Just that one, okay. That, that's probably the the two that we're missing out of the 16. So now we're missing 14. Nothing. But yeah, I was gonna say after Sheila's little sub area. I'm most likely thinking, never mind, but I'm most likely thinking they're going to be in the subworlds, but we cleaned it up. We got everything now. Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Well, we got Ralph. 
My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no! He started his bone dance again. Oh yeah, here we go guys, here we go. And he was moonwalking. Fucked up the last part though, but that's definitely a fan favorite. They had to bring that back in. So there you go, sure. We are done now. We. Everything is now up to date with Spyro 3. Even if this means this episode's been a bit long. But there you go, guys. But the only thing we're missing now. No, I'm off duty. Um, still got that ice. Thanks, square button. We're just gonna exit level. That'd be the easiest way to do it. We still got the ice level to do. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then everything will be up to date. As we're going back, getting everything at this point, because why not? We've done all the other backtracks, so let's do the most recent one. That way we can keep continuing on with Spyro 3. Yeah, here's some right here. I, I knew I could have sworn I'd seen gems somewhere in this sub-world. We were just a little lazy doing it. And yeah, they were like right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right here, there's even more. Thank goodness for Sparks. And yeah. Some right here too. That's where they were. Of course, they were in the sub world. Hey, but at least you know the ones that we were missing in the actual world right here in this level we did get those they were they were pretty tricksy too because they were underneath the the ice so I, th I think like that's what I do like about this game like it's definitely you know unique and more challenging trying to find everything they definitely hidden things a lot more so yeah, everything now is 100% up to this point, right here. We got our Sergeant Bird, we got Sheila the Kangaroo. I would say next we will tackle on this level, at least for sure this one, and we'll probably do some more subworld stuff like this right here. We got the gym. Might have to collect that again, <laughs> unless I start right now for this episode. See you next time. We'll cross this bridge. We'll continue the gameplay. I'm just glad we went back and got everything else when we did. So, see you next time. Hopefully, we can actually find all the gems. No problem. Even if there is a problem, we have ways of working around it and fixing it. So, yeah. See you then, guys. Let's keep getting everything in Spyro 3 next time. See you then. Peace.